Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo. Rob Hoback. Welcome to episode 148. I am here. Glad you are too. Regardless of when, where, or how you're joining us today, doesn't matter. Just glad you're here and honored that you chose to spend a few minutes with us. Thank yous. I am thankful for access to information. Boy, it just keeps coming out. We just, it's shocking, right? Uh, but before we get to my question of the day, which is where did you go to school? I'd like to talk about my IMs. And I am encouraged. Um, so you got a little art there. That's by Jack. Jack was here last night. Um, it was super cute. I was, I don't even remember what I was doing. I was working, oh, I was making dinner. And he came out with this paper and a little marker to show me that he'd done it. He'd gotten the markers out. He'd got my book out. He knew exactly what he was doing. He was imitating me, right? And in that moment, I thought to myself, I'm like, you know, I, I just had a conversation earlier in the day where Jack has the signs of severe autism, right? Like, and I was counseled, like, you may not think that there's anything wrong with him, but blah, 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 blah. Well, no shit, right? You you paid somebody to tell you that there was something wrong with him and that he needs to keep coming back. Good guy. That boy's good, right? He's got work to do. That boy's good, right? He's a lot better than certain people would let you to think that he is. All right, uh, let's get to work. Where'd you go to school, right? For those of you who have not, who don't have a college education like me, you know how awkward that that question is. You're like, oh, do I lie? People put so much into this. And why? Why is it such a big deal? Because we were trained. We were trained that that, that four to eight, 10 years, whatever, however long you would go to school, that defines you for the, and I'm calling bullshit on that, right? Like the, the further we go along in this and we start to realize like, wow, that whole system is corrupt, right? Like it's, it's intended, um, again, follow the money, right? Like most people don't have the cash to go to school, right? So they have to borrow money. Well, who do you borrow the money? You borrow from one, you know, three or four places that are loaning it all backed by the federal government. And then you start looking into them. They're all shady, right? They're all shady. It's like this Wells Fargo thing where they were just making up bank accounts and stuff. Very, very similar, right? Where people were incented financially by a publicly owned company to falsify, either falsify documents or lie to people to get them to sign up to things. It's just bad, 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 bad. And again, taking advantage of the people who need the, the, the help the most. As if that wasn't enough. Yesterday, we come out with this, this thing where all of these really rich people are influencing uh, the admissions ad administration, uh, by just all they're doing is just greasing the wheel. Hey, my kid's a lazy, entitled, uh, kid because I am rich and I've never taught them how to work. So how about I just pay somebody and pretend that they're on the water polo team? And there's always somebody that's willing to take a, instead of working, like, yeah, give, give me a handout. Let me, let me just do this the easy way. Let me hit the easy button and get to the front of the lawn, right? And then you compound that with you have these universities, Penn State, uh, Michigan State, USC, where there are these awful, awful things going on. And instead of protecting the students, doing the one job that they're supposed to do as a university is to protect and teach our kids how to be better citizens. They're letting them be raped, you know, sexually assaulted, all of these things under guise of, you know, don't don't hurt the university. No, that's not okay. Um, obviously, I'm pretty fired up about this. I was, I've was i been fired up about the student loan thing for a couple of months now. And then this stuff just, you know, this USC stuff came out a couple of weeks ago. It, it's awful when you read about it. It's awful. Like that, that gynecologist was a, he, he was a basically like a, uh, very similar to Larry Nasser. And then this guy, this dean of the, uh, the medical school, that guy is just an all around awful human being. So what's my point? Let's be careful, right? Let's, let's be careful of the lies that we were taught as kids during our formative years that we don't perpetuate those, right? Does every kid need to go to college? Absolutely not. Some kids need to go to a trade school because that's all they want to do. Everybody needs to learn. We should never lose our quest to learn more. However, we don't need to take out a loan for you know, hundred tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars, um, you know, to send a kid to school just to say that they went to school. I, 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 I can't see where that's the right thing. I don't know if I talked about this earlier, but when I think about my sphere of people that I'm around, 
The single, the person with the single most resources, the, the most money that I know personally, didn't spend a day in college. Probably half the people that I know that are successful either didn't go to college, didn't finish college. Like you never even hear them talk about it. And then the rest, the ones that talk the most about being going to college are the ones that do the least, right? Like they're still holding on to something they did 10, 15, 20 years ago. Cut through the bullshit, right? Cut through it. Um, I'm encouraged and a little fired up today. Is that all I got? Yeah. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you joining for a couple minutes. Use your naga. That's what it's there for, right? Sniff out the BS and stay away from it. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.